Hello learners, welcome to my class. This time you will learn about waves. Have you seen a wave? Where? That's great. In this video, we will be talking about the nature of waves, classification of waves, and the anatomy of wave. Are you ready to learn? Great! Let's go! Waves occur all around you in the physical world. When you poke your finger on a still water, water waves spread out. When you strum the strings of a guitar, sound waves carry the noise all around you. When you switch on the lamp, light waves flood the room. Water, sound, and light waves differ in important ways, but they share the basic properties of wave motion. For instance, you can see water waves and surfers would say that they enjoy riding the waves. On the other hand, you don't see sound and light waves, but you experience them in other ways. Your ear detects sound waves and your skin can get burned by ultraviolet waves if you stay under the sun for too long. So how do we define a wave? A wave is a periodic disturbance that moves away from a source and carries energy with it. For example, earthquake waves show us the amount of energy carried by a wave that can do work on objects by exerting forces that move objects from their original positions. Here are the nature of waves. 1. A wave is a traveling disturbance. 2. It carries energy from one phase to another. 3. Vibration causes wave motion. 4. Waves travel through a medium. What is a medium? A medium is a substance that waves travel through and need to have in order to move. Mediums can either be solid, liquid, or gas. How are waves classified? Waves are classified by what they move through and by how particles move through them. Classification of waves according to what they move through. We have electromagnetic waves and mechanical waves. Electromagnetic waves are waves that can travel through matter or empty space where matter is not present. Here are some types of electromagnetic waves. Gamma ray, X-ray, ultraviolet, visible light, infrared, microwave, and radio wave. Mechanical waves need a medium to propagate. It requires the particles of the medium to vibrate in order for the energy to be transferred. Examples of mechanical waves are water waves, seismic waves, and sound waves. Classification of waves according to how particles move through them. We have transverse waves, longitudinal waves, and surface waves. Transverse waves Waves in which particles of the medium move in a direction perpendicular to the direction that the wave moves. As you can see in this illustration, the wave moves horizontally, while the particles move up and down or side by side perpendicular to the direction of the wave motion. Longitudinal waves Waves in which particles of the medium move to the direction that the wave moves. As you can see in this illustration, both the particle and the wave motion are moving back and forth. The particle's motion is parallel to the wave motion. Surface waves Waves in which the particles of the medium undergo a circular motion. In a surface wave, it is only the particles at the surface of the medium that undergo the circular motion. Let's proceed to the anatomy of wave. Crest is the highest point of a wave. Trough is the lowest point of a wave. Amplitude, it is the height of a wave. 
it describes the energy carried by a wave. Compression, the part where particles compress or close to each other. Rarefaction, the part where particles are distant to each other. Wavelength, it is the distance between two consecutive identical parts of a wave. Frequency, is the number of waves that pass a particular point in every one second. Unit for frequency is Hertz. Period, is the time required for one complete wave to pass a given point. Expressed as period is equal to 1 divided by frequency. For example, if two waves per second are passing by, each wave has a period of 1 half seconds or 0 0.5 seconds. Wave speed refers to the distance the wave travels per unit time. It is related to the frequency of the wave and wavelength through the following equation. Wave speed equals frequency times wavelength. Here are the things you need to remember. While energy is transported by virtue of moving pattern, there is no net transport of matter in a wave motion. When there is a wave, the source is a vibration. The motion of particles of a medium relative to the wave motion. Transverse, perpendicular, longitudinal, parallel, surface, circular. Electromagnetic waves do not require medium, while mechanical waves require medium. And that ends our video for today. Thank you for watching. Until next time.